Hello, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. I am a professional trader and also I teach part-time. And I have a book coming out called The Bible of Trend Following, A Professional Traders Compound Wealth and Manage the Risk. I invite you to pick up the book. And what I want to talk about today I think is an absolutely fascinating topic which is one of the key points of adding to your success of a trader. And really what it's talking about is position sizing. And these are shares, <clears throat> and what I like to do is I look to buy the strongest, I look to sell the weakest, and I rank the stock market in actually in uh, Meta stock, and I identify the strongest shares and the weakest ones. And these are the strongest. When I'm in the stock market, I only want to be long when I'm above a 200-day moving average, and we are. And this is where we're at. These are the shares. What does it mean, position sizing? You will notice all of these are different numbers, different sh numbers of shares. But what's interesting is <clears throat> I have approximately plus or minus the same gross risk on any of the positions, but the risk per share is pretty similar. This is what I'm willing to lose. I've been buying here. The trade doesn't work if I go below this point. Everything is pre-thought out. This is the whole idea of what a trading plan is. Basically, just to explain these numbers, my gross is I'm just multiplying the number of shares times my entry price. Pretty simple. My risk per share is I'm subtracting my entry price from where I know the trade doesn't work, which is based on a trailing <clears throat> average true range stop. And I'm using a breakout. I know if it goes to 94.73, this trade doesn't work. There's nothing for me to think about. It's already in the market and it's happening. Then, to actually figure out my risk, I just say 45 times 527, I'm risking $237 on this trade. But, I want to make something very clear. It can gap this trade and it can cost me more. But, I mean, you never really know the future and all you're really dealing is uncertainty. So, I'm willing to put this trade on and let's see what happens. That's what successful trading is. Accepting the risk. So, I have these are the positions. But, the difference is, let's say hypothetically, if whatever this is, MYL, takes a big move and I have more shares, you know, I can make a heck of a lot more money. Or the same thing with NSR. I can make a heck of a lot more money because I was able to put on for the same amount of money, the same risk, $209 actually, I'm real, what I'm hoping to risk. <clears throat> and I have more shares than, let's say, Priceline or um, SWI or Val. This is what the idea of position sizing is. Again, this is only one of the major attributes of becoming a sexual, successful trader, is knowing how to use position sizing. Again, my name is Andrew, trend following mentor. This is my website. I invite you. I can teach you how to come, well, start, try to become a successful trader. There's a lot of psychology in, involved. And in my book, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of material that talks about the psychology because there's so many traders that have been trying to trade for years and just don't get it. In this book, I outline everything it takes to become a consistent, long-term trader. And let me tell you something. It is not easy. This is not uh, retirement in the box. That you have to work. This is not a high win ratio. You will have losses and you will go through long periods. You won't make money. But then there will be other periods that you stumble into big trades. And it's applicable to stocks, commodities, Forex. Again, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. I invite you to learn and become a successful trader. Thank you.